Hello guys, <coughs> how are you doing today? I am bringing you an inbox review of a kit I have much wanted to have since I first saw it in the Tamiya catalog more more like in the Highlands catalog and Spro Brothers the P47D Thunderbolt Razorback this will be my first, my first Thunderbolt ever I mean it because I don't have any P47s in my collection I always wanted to see to buy one but never had the chance but yesterday it popped up a Top Gun in Buenos Aires so I went to the store and, and bought it first thing we can see is the striking box art of Little Chief flying with the drop tank and I think the artwork maybe of Koike Shigeo the same man who designs Haseawa's top boxes it doesn't say anywhere but uh, I think it's from Koike Shigeo there's one option here, Frank. Come on, focus. I don't know why this is focusing. Come on. Anyways, it's Frank, Lieutenant Frank Clevels, 56, Feta Group, 61st Fighter Squadron at Hillsworth, UK, March 1944, Little Chief, coded a Hotel Victor Victor. And on the other side is Captain Captain Walter Walker Mahurins, 56 Fighter Group, 61st Fighter Squadron, also based at Hillsworth in the UK in March 1944. The aircraft is coded un uniform November Mike, the spirit of Atlantic City, New Jersey. Now that the presentations are I have finished, I will show you, show you instructions. Here you can see. I don't know why this is focusing. Okay. Let me check with a paint. There we go. We can see here the the, the story in three four languages of the P forty seven. The first one, as you can see, is in English, German, French, and Japanese. Is what I assume. Assume. Here you can see the tools needed to make this kit, recommended by Tamiya. And here you can see the instructions are of the foldable style, not my favorite, but they work. You can see here <coughs> the, the options A and B. Step one is, let me zoom out. In step one you build the cockpit, interior green with some black details. Step two is, is the installation of the wings part to the fuselage and the P, oh, and part B B18 installation of the cockpit to the fuselage hubs. Step four is construction of the engine. Then we go through several steps and is the installation of the cooling vents, horizontal stabilizers, wings, and all of that. Step five. Step where is it? Step eight is installation of the landing gear, which I will re le I will I will leave for the end because I don't want to break it. Step nine is for the installation of the flaps, up or lowered position. In step ten, eleven, you build the propeller. Step twelve is, is installation of the canopy and machine guns with the gun sight. And step thirteen is the installation of the several underwing stores, such as the flat fuel tank the two paper fuel tanks, the two bombs, or the two bazookas. Oh, and here is the placement part for the armament. I want to point out that although Tamiya calls for three paper fuel tanks to be added onto the three hard points, Tamiya only provides two fuel tanks of the paper style and a single uh, flat style drop tank. So I guess this is a Tamiya misprint. Step 15 is installation of the several bomb loads, and that's it. Now you can see the full, the black and white color painting instruction. First is Little Chief HBB, Olive Drabber Neutral Grey with red cowling and red rudder. And the other is Spirit of, Spirit of Atlantic City. Let me focus again. Well, it doesn't focus, so you can show. 
Spirit of Atlantic City, also in olive drab and neutral grey with white details. Now that I showed you instructions, I will remove all the parts from the. I will first also show you the decals. This kit is brand new, nothing has been opened. As you can see, the decals are still in the in the clipped bag. No, no, no defects or anything. So I won't be removing those from the bag because I don't want to damage them with eventual water. Tami also includes the several steps for for the motorizing their kits but that won't be necessary here now the the real the true interesting part is the revision of the spruce i will remove the clips carefully because i don't want to cut the bags If I can remove them, there we go. Come on, there we go. First spruce are the wheels, wheel bonds, paper fuel tanks, and the here you can see the the flap flap arms, and on this small smaller area you can see what i think are slide molded it doesn't focus i don't understand slide molded gun tubes the same is for this proof which is a duplicate let me place them again in the bag carefully because i don't want to lose any part Next, we have the fuselage hubs. The 47 is a rather big aircraft, bigger, much bigger than the BF-109 I'm used to building. Here you can see, I don't want to imagine it in one thirty second scale. The fuselage hubs, you can see, you can't see it because it doesn't focus. I don't understand why. I will zoom in it. so I realize it's focus on level three of zoom but whatever you can see the very nice recessed, recessed panel lines no flash at all rivets where they are needed hopefully the kid won't need much much feeling because I hate sending and feeling There we go, it focuses on level one. Cockpit floor, engine, something, instrument panel, rest, uh, I don't know what this piece is called. I, th I think these are for the, for the external tanks, cockpit bulkhead, and the cockpit sidewalls. The sprue I won't be removing are the clear parts because these are the most important parts and I don't want to lose them nor damage them now with this first big sprue out of the way I will show you the second and final and final one oh sorry there are two more sprues this time I will just open the bag like this There we go, the wings, also with awesome recess detail, perfectly clear gun shell ejector shoots. The wings parts are here. These are the gun throughs for the machine guns. The these are the the how do I say the the gun the gun the the containers for the fuel tanks and the bombs and here are the these parts are for the oh, for, to be glued here to make way for the wheel well now that this one has been reviewed 
I will show you the final sprue. And it comes with small, a smaller bag. You can see here two polycaps to allow the propeller to spin. I love Hasegawa and Tamiya when they give this option because I like my propeller spinning. Here you can see the tail wheel, this part, the, the tail wheel holders, engine, flat fuel tank, horizontal stabilizers, and three types of propeller with the cowling here and also a pilot, a, right, a nicely detailed pilot, landing gear, with, landing gear struts, and the propeller nose cone. So now that I have reviewed this kit, I will start building it rather soon, soonish, I think. Hopefully, maybe tomorrow, because I don't, I don't want to rush it. I think this will be a very nice kit to build. So let me close the box again. So yeah, there we have it. A very nice kit. And I think it will be an awesome build. As I, as I told you before, it will be my first P47 ever. So any, any mistakes I commit on this kit will be excused by that. I also know that the in internal part of the kit, the wheel wells and all of that are painted in zinc chromate yellow, but I will paint them in interior green because I I hate how I hate how yellow doesn't cover perfect at the first pass. I have to I have this new pot of yellow. I'm still trying I'm trying to exhaust my painting rack before buying new ones. I need a new black paint for the details and the propellers. So yeah, that, there we have it. I also bought this kit in order to spend some olive drab, which has been on the lifeline support because I haven't used it much ever since my last P51B from Tamiya 2. Or Rebel, I can't remember. So yeah, that's it for today. I will start on this kit tomorrow when I have natural light. So I hope I hope to see you in the build video next. And I hope you also enjoyed this inbox review. So please give it the video a like. If you want, please consider subscribing. And I'll see you in the workbench next time.